WeatherXM is a emerging crypto project that's probably going to take off in the next couple of months. So maybe now is a good time to get involved. They make a regular Wi-Fi version, and then they also make a Helium-enabled system. For the Helium version, we're going to go ahead and install it with this uh, satellite mount. It's going to be mounted on the roof, and it's going to require a little bit of extra hardware. Take a look. I ended up getting all these items at Lowe's. I know that you can buy everything here on Amazon, so I'll put the link in our heliumstreet.com website. Just click on the Weather XM tab, and it'll pull up all the links for all these items. It only costs about 23 bucks. Uh, that's not including the antenna mast. That kind of varies depending on where you get it. But anyway, I ended up getting the white PVC for plumbing instead of the gray conduit for, for electrical. I suppose I could have bought a length of the gray conduit, but I just didn't feel like having that sitting around the, the house and not, you know really not really having any need for it, kind of wasteful. So I ended up buying uh, the white PVC and then a can of gray spray paint, which really matches perfect with everything else. Uh, it'll give me a chance to also spray paint that little metal coupler also. So anyway, this is a really great kind of a kit. So go ahead and pick it up on heliumstreet.com and um, you'll you'll be all set for this installation. A couple things you're going to need in addition. You're going to need some JB Weld and also some lithium ion batteries. And I'll show you what that's all about. But before I tell you where those batteries go, I'm going to go through preparing the mast and the PVC and everything. Uh, so you saw all the parts and pieces I bought. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the adhesive underneath the stickers, and I'm going to pull those stickers off. I'm, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be coming back over this later on with a nice coat of gray spray paint, the Rust-Oleum. Uh, even the metal fitting there, it's got a little adhesive uh, sticker on it, so I'm heating that up and pulling that off. Uh, then there's the PVC fitting, which has threaded surface on one side and then a smooth surface on the other side. The, thread surfa the threaded surface goes to that metal coupler, um, and so what you're going to see here in a second is that I'm going to, um, well, first I'm going to clean up the PVC. Uh, I got to clean that up and I use a little sandpaper, so, um, so a real fine grain sandpaper on it to take off any residue. But the biggest reason is because I wanted to, um, rough it up for the spray paint. So now I'm mixing up the JB Weld, part A, part B. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the metal threaded fat part of the metal, uh, coupler put a little bit of the JB Weld on the on the threads, and then I'm going to thread it into the threaded side of the PVC coupler. And uh, just tighten that down nice and tight. And then I'm going to mix up a little bit more JB Weld here, and then I'm going to put that on the inside of the smooth surface where it will receive the white PVC. And so put plenty of that inside there. Uh, this is going to make it a um, permanent fixing of those two components. They'll get pushed together now, and... Then um, uh, basically what we'll be moving forward with is getting it ready to spray paint. Uh, so cleaning up the rest of that JB Weld, um, laying down then uh, a mat, moving stuff out of the way, and then I'm going to lay down a mat and a piece of cardboard, and then I'm going to put a little bit of spray paint on all the surfaces. I ended up doing a, two coats of spray paint that night, waited a few hours, and I came back before I hit the hay and I put another coat on it so that uh, um, there would be plenty of paint on it. I did end up hitting it again once it was up on the roof, but I'll show you that later. Um, next step was pulling the Weather XM station out. Now it's got a lot of great hardware and components with this. I'm not going to go every, through everything. Um, if you buy it, you'll be happy with it. I pretty much guarantee that. Uh, I was pretty careful to make sure that I didn't rest the little solar panel down on the surface very hard. Uh, I wanted to make sure I protected that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery pack together. And the, it takes six lithium ion batteries. I think they say that they last, uh, you know, 10 years shelf life or something crazy. They're, they're well, the best batteries I could buy. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start preparing that battery pack. It takes six of them. So I'll pull the batteries out and I'll put the batteries into this and I'll, uh, I think eventually I put a little bit of silicone um, on this once I got it up on the roof just to make sure that it was, that battery pack was perfectly uh, watertight. But uh, at this point in time, I'm just going through all the components and assembling everything. I was, like I said, I was careful not to uh, rest that, uh, that little, solar panel on any surfaces while I did this because I didn't want to break it. 
um, because that, is, that did seem to be a little bit fragile. Uh, but you know, once it's in the air and there's, you know, it's kind of floating in the air, it's no problem. So here I am putting that little battery adapter inside of the battery compartment. Uh, it's got a little black wire, and then that fits through that little hole in that battery cover. Uh, and then I'm screwing it back on. And uh, that's pretty much it for the pre-assembly. So after you download the WeatherXM app, you're going to go ahead and set up your weather station and sync it to the app. Basically, you're going to push the small button on the back of the XM station, and it'll start to go into pairing mode. Uh, you'll set your frequency, and then it'll start to claim the station on the system. So basically, just follow along the instructions. It's pretty easy. Uh, once the station is claimed, uh, in, in the network, then they're going to update the firmware. And now it'll go through and it'll update the firmware. You can see mine failed the first time around, and then I just simply clicked retry, and then it started back up again and it went through okay. So it's installing the firmware now and updating it, going through that process just took a few seconds to do that. And then we went through and we well, basically opened up the uh, application to see that it was actually starting to record data. And then I went through and I changed the settings. And depending on your region, uh, where you live, you'll have different setting preferences for Celsius or Fahrenheit uh, or to some of the basics. You go through and do that. And then it'll be connecting your wallet. And connecting the wallet is a is a process that isn't too complicated, but follow along their instructions. Their instructions are quite good. Uh, along with that, you'll want to set up your MetaMask wallet for the token. Uh, it's in testnet, and so uh, you download the testnet uh, wallet through MetaMask. And um, depending on when you're watching this video, you will uh, either do mainnet or testnet. Uh, in, in testnet, your WXM tokens aren't um, I bet guess basically worth anything uh, will be rewarded later on after it, the system goes on the mainnet. So that's basically it. Then uh, moving forward. So now that the the WeatherXM weather station is now basically it's set up. It's it's talking to the network. Uh, actually, overnight it did uh, transfer some XM tokens to my wallet. I went through the whole process of setting up the wallet on the. Uh, um, on the on MetaMask, and then basically took the MetaMask XM wallet, and then provided that in the app on the Weather XM app, so that any tokens that are earned with this device are sent to that wallet. So that's all set up, and they actually provide really good instructions for that. Uh, so I'll link those in the description section of the video so that you can access those. But they're better instructions that I could do here probably. Um, really what I want to show you now is the setup of the unit on the roof. So in my case, it's a roof-mounted uh, application. Um, but I also wanted to show you the battery pack. Now this battery pack is pretty slick. Um, it's got a locking feature on the bottom. I'll unlock it. Uh, and then I'll remove the lid here. And you'll, what you're going to see is that it's got a really nice sealing feature here. It's got an O-ring that goes all the way around. This black O-ring right here goes all the way around um, the inside surface, and so, and so when you when you engage this, it actually seals it up uh, basically watertight. And so now it's seated, and then uh, you just flip this switch back to lock it. Um, it's a really nice uh, system, and it only thing that may have made this a little bit better would be is if there was some sort of um, I guess disconnection here of the wire to the base or from the uh, wire to where it goes into the bottom uh, so that we could fish that through a small hole, hole and have this under the, the edge of the roof so that you could fish the wire through. But with having such a large base and having um, the mechanism that engages the battery connections right inside here are quite large. And so that would be you know kind of impossible to fish that through a small hole. So, And I don't want to obviously uh, drill or cut a large hole in the roof to be able to do that. So it kind of it kind of forces you to have this outside. Uh, I am going to, um, just because, you know, look at the backside here. It has slots so that, and they provide these metal uh, tie straps. 
And so those metal tri tie straps are designed so that they'll basically wrap around the pole that you attach uh, the weather station to, uh, which is kind of a nice setup. Uh, I'll be doing something similar to that. I'll show you in the video in the upcoming section of this video. Um, and so this will be attached directly to the pole uh, right below the weather station. And so I'll bu be bundling up this wire and getting it all secure up there uh, because it's going to be exposed to the elements. But yeah, they do a nice job with hardware. Uh, they provide a couple of these metal uh, tie straps. Uh, the hardware that I'm not using here is going to be this base, the pole, and then um, this coupler here that basically works with this base so that you can attach that to a pole or an antenna, exterior antenna or a fence post or, you know, whatever it might be. And then this pole then is keyed, actually. It's, see, it's got flats. It slides in there nice and snug, and they provide all the stainless steel hardware with it. Um, so they do a really nice job with providing you the hardware that you need. All right, I'm continuing to get as much done in the garage as I can before I go up on the roof. And so now that I've attached the weather station to the PVC, um, like I said, I did go with a two inch PVC. You could go with an inch and a half, um, but I couldn't do that necessarily because I really wanted to use this coupler down here. This metal coupler that has the, um, that has the screws so that that will attach to the satellite dish pole, which is uh, is basically um, fits perfectly on this little uh, uh, connection down here. So uh, that's why I went with the two inch because it all really worked together well. I knew that I was going to have a little bit of an interference up here, but um, like I said, when I heated that up with a heat gun, put it in a vise, made it just slightly oblong along the top area here, and that made it fit nice and snug. And uh, the additional hardware that came with this uh, really uh, worked out perfect. One of the key aspects to installing this crack is to orient the unit uh, so that the arrow in the top of the unit that's pointing north uh, is exactly pointing north. So get your handy dandy compass out and get it oriented exactly in, the, in uh, pointing north. And then uh, make sure that your unit is, is installed so that the sight bubble is exactly in the middle. I could get right up on top of here and try to show you exactly that. Um, have your little solar panel pointing at a 45 degree angle um, and then attach your battery pack of course which I need to do. So this is basically the installation and we'll uh, wrap this up with a battery pack. All right we got the final cut here. The installation is complete. We've got the solar panel set at 45 degrees, sight bubble set, perfectly uh, pointing perfectly uh, north. Um, we've got another fresh coat of gray paint along the um, pole where the wires, right over the tops of the wires and the zip ties all the way down to the bottom, including the base, battery pack zip tied to the base, a uh, thin coat of silicone going around the seams, uh, just a little extra measure of waterproofness. Uh, all in all, great project. I've already seen some WXM flowing into the wallet and uh, over the last 12 hours or so. Uh, all in all, it's been a great project. I'm really excited about seeing how this progresses. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, also, if you have um, any suggestions for a better, better installation, please leave those in the comments also. Uh, we're all learning together with this stuff, so uh, any comments are very much welcome. Thanks, we'll see you next time.